Good morning, this is Mrs. Nest Eden, and today we are going to introduce kind of the four main themes of biology for this year and start getting into the first part of our first unit for AP Bio. Before we do that, I wanna show you just a few resources that were added in AP Classroom over the weekend. You can see under the class materials, there's a new post of materials called Unit 1 Resources. One of these will be added for each new unit that we have. And if you click on that post, you can see there are three documents attached in here right now. One of them is the prior knowledge document that you already received a copy of. I just put another one here so that everything for this unit is in a centralized location if you want to look at it again. There's also a document in here called New Content for Unit 1. This is all of the new learning targets and vocabulary, things you probably haven't seen before or may not have seen before, um, that can kind of be your study guide as you're studying the new material for this unit. I will also attach all of the slides that include the notes that I present either through these videos or in class. So you'll have access to those on this post as well. And I'll continue to add to those and revise those as we go through the unit. All of these are meant kind of to act as study guides to help you focus and figure out what you need to know as we move through this unit. Feel free with these two learning targets and prior knowledge documents, feel free to make a copy of those for yourself. And you can just type notes directly into them if that seems like a strategy that would work well for you. Today, we're going to take a look at this first set of slides um, that start getting us into what is part of chapter one in your textbook. And it's the first topic in unit one. We're going to start today by talking about the four main themes that run through all of biology. All of biology is kind of organized around these four main concepts, energy, information, interactions, and evolution. These are themes that are going to come up in every single unit that we do throughout the entire year. And you're going to see these in many different ways. And so we're going to take a minute today to just introduce these ideas, but they'll come back again and again. And hopefully you'll start to see some connections and some overlap between one unit and the next and kind of see how these four big themes tie everything in biology together. The first theme that we're going to talk about is the theme of energy. When you think about energy, a lot of people automatically start thinking about like food webs or photosynthesis, and those are parts of it. But it's important to remember that all of these themes run from the very smallest molecular level up to the ecosystem level. So for energy, we can talk about energy at the molecular level by talking about energy stored in the bonds of a molecule like ATP. We can talk about how energy changes forms as it goes through chemical reactions like photosynthesis and cellular respiration in the different organelles in a cell. And we can talk about how energy flows through an entire ecosystem, moving from the sun through all the different trophic levels. The second theme that we're going to talk about is information. Usually the easiest way to think about information in biology is thinking about a molecule of DNA. Obviously DNA stores genetic information and passes on that information. So that's information at a molecular level. But again, this includes things beyond just that. Information can also be transferred in how one cell communicates to another cell to pass on different pieces of information um, throughout an organism. We can also talk about information um, in terms of how organisms take in information from their surroundings and respond to that information. And we can talk about how organisms learn and communicate information with each other as well. The third big idea in biology is the idea of interactions. And again, this spans all of those different levels. We can talk about molecular interactions, like the interaction between an enzyme and its substrate. That's really important in chemical reactions. We can talk about interactions between different organisms, like a bee pollinating a flower. 
And we can talk about interactions on a global scale. We can talk about how humans interact with the environment to change things um, throughout the atmosphere and the biosphere and all of the different levels. And the last and maybe the most central idea of biology is the idea of evolution. Evolution is probably the core theme of biology because it explains not only how things are different and why things are different, but it also explains a lot of the similarities that we see amongst organisms on the planet. It explains why almost every living thing uses the exact same genetic code that contains those same letters, the C's, G's, T's, and A's, and almost every organism reads those letters to create the same types of polypeptides out of amino acids. It also explains why organisms as different as a fruit fly and a mouse use almost an identical set of genes to set up their body plan where the head will be and the tail and the back and the front. And evolution can also explain for us not only the similarities, but the differences, why individual species have specific adaptations and how those adaptations um, came to be in order to help that organism survive best within its environment. So these four themes really tie together everything that we're gonna study this year. In this first unit, you're gonna get an introduction to all four of them mainly through the lens of studying plants. We're gonna spend a lot of time in this first unit looking at the adaptations of plants and how different features in plants have evolved to help them best survive. We're gonna look at how plants take in energy from the sun and use it for photosynthesis, and we'll review that process a little bit. We'll look at how plants respond to information from their environment to help regulate some of those chemical processes and we'll also look at how plants and other organisms interact as energy flows throughout an ecosystem. So this unit is going to be kind of an introduction to the big ideas of biology through the lens of looking at plants. Today specifically, we are gonna start with a brief review of evolution and natural selection because that is kind of the central theme of biology. It's important that you have a basic understanding of how that process works throughout this entire year. We will have a unit at the end of the year that goes deeper into evolution and some of the details of it, but for now we're just gonna do a little bit of a review of the basics. Hopefully by now you've already taken a look at the prior knowledge document, especially the parts that relate to evolution. So we're gonna take a couple minutes today and just review these vocab words. If there are any words that you see on the screen right now that you don't remember what they mean, you may wanna go and look them up quickly um, because this is basically what we're going to be reviewing today is just the basics of how natural selection works and leads to the evolution of traits or adaptations that help an organism to be more fit in its environment. The activity we're gonna to do today has a couple different parts to it. After this video is finished, you're gonna go back into Google Classroom and open two documents linked on today's posts. One is a Google Slides document, and one of them is just a Google Doc where you're gonna type your answers. As you go through the slides, each slide is gonna present um, basically a question about evolution and natural selection in the form of a cartoon. Think about these as you go. If you can, discuss them with somebody, even if you're at home. Um, see if you can chat with somebody, call a friend who's also working on AP Bio at home, or text each other as you go through this activity, um, because it's really beneficial to kind of talk through these as much as you can. And what you're going to do as you go through the slides is just fill in the your answer column on that answer document. Don't worry about the rest of it yet, just put in what you think the correct answer is. And remember, this is just a review activity. If you get a couple of them wrong, that's okay. Once you've finished going through all the slides and not before that, then you're gonna go back to classroom and access the answer key and see how many of them you got right. 
In the last column on your document, you're going to go in and put a brief summary of the concepts involved in each of those different pictures. And by going through this whole thing, you'll review most of the basics. Um, and you can go back and look up anything that you're unclear about. Um, or feel free to send me an email and ask any questions if you are unclear about things. This assignment isn't due till Friday, but it doesn't take you very long, and I would strongly recommend you do all of it today because there will be more assignments almost every day this week. Um, and so try and finish this one up today so that you have a good understanding of the basics of natural selection because tomorrow we're going to apply some of this vocabulary by starting to look at plants and identifying some of the adaptations that plants have to help them survive in their environment. So feel free to contact me with any questions that you have as you work through today's assignment or any assignment this week, and I hope you have a great day.